In example two, we're going to look at what happens when there's a no solution case. So looking at triangle ABC here, you would probably just draw it like you were used to drawing. So I'm going to draw in A is 30 degrees, across from A is 2, and then across from angle B is side B is 6. Now, this is clearly not drawn to scale, so I can tell that's going to be something we're going to talk about a little bit, but we usually just sort of plunk in our numbers. Now, the angle given, or sorry, the side given opposite this angle is short out of the two sides. So at first, I would actually think it's a two solution case, but watch what happens when I go to do the first step. I'm going to use my sine law. No matter what, my first choice would be to find angle B because I've got the opposites here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna rearrange our question. Divide off the two and sine B is going to equal six sine 30 degrees over two. So what happens is when I go to put this in my calculator, I'm gonna type in six sine 30. Just trying to see if we can see it here. I'll, I'll do that. 6 sine 30 equals divided by 2. And I get 1.5. What's going to happen now? That's what sine b equals. 1.5 is not, because it's greater than 1, and we know sine values have to be less than 1. Um, and even if you didn't realize, what happens is when you go shift sine and you put in that answer of 1.5, it's going to give me an error message. So that is not possible. This is why it's no solution. The reason that's not going to happen, so actually let's just write the 1.5 here, but therefore no solution is the answer and here's why this triangle actually does not exist okay so i'm just going to say triangle does not exist or doesn't exist so what happens is if i was to try and draw this a little more to scale so let's say i have six here and i'm going to go like let's say that's sort of two two sections four six i'm kind of just estimating and I've got an angle of 30 degrees here approximately. What would happen is if this is a distance of six, this side, this distance is two on this side, that's only one third of six. So I actually only draw it about this distance. So no matter how long I draw this line, there's gonna be a big gap in here. Okay, so if this is six and this is two, because this is much smaller, this side is so small that it's not long enough to actually connect to the bottom side. So this triangle does not exist, which is why we're getting this problem when we actually do the calculation. So you would find out in the first step. Otherwise, you would compare. It would have, at first look like it may be two solutions because this is a smaller side, but if it's quite a bit smaller than the other side, significant enough, then you can also tell it's no solution.